Well, good morning, folks. It is 621. I just left the house. And I am going to roast today. Got a lot of roast. Let's go. I need to catch you guys up on the happenings, the stuff that's happened in the past month and a half or however long it's been since I, the last vlog. Things are busy, so your boy doesn't have a whole lot of time to vlog. But uh, I didn't forget about you. So what's new? Uh, what's new? Still delivering coffee to the same folks. Um, there's a, a new place in Durham <clears throat> that wants some samples, which is pretty cool because they're reaching out. Um, so that just means the business is growing. Coffee, the product must be pretty good. So I'm excited about that. Also, there is a gas shortage here in North Carolina, and I'm sure it's affecting other states as well. And people are doing crazy things, like hoarding gas. Um, so I got three quarters of a tank to go all day, plus uh, two deliveries. So I hope I don't run out, because I don't have to wait in these long, crazy lines. It's ridiculous. So I ordered an espresso cart let's go man i'm excited i ordered it two or three weeks ago and it says it takes four weeks plus delivery so i'm hoping i'm hoping it gets here soon uh, i chose simple cart systems and i'll put a link in the description but i'm just super impressed with their craftsmanship and their brand and just how it's gonna up my game here at Derby Coffee Roasters. Um, so that should be coming soon. Hopefully the next video will be a little sneak peek of that. Uh, speaking of espresso, uh, I've put myself out there for catering and already had a fitness gym hire me to come in and serve two elementary schools for staff appreciation. Uh, let's see, I'm doing a big event at a church next weekend where it's like over Thursday night, all day Friday and Saturday morning. So I'm really excited about that. Had to buy a new Fetco AirPot Brewer. Really excited about that. That came in, so I'm, I'm going to have to hook up the plumbing to a five gallon uh, water jug and a flow jet system. So I'm hoping I can get the parts that I need for that. What else? Man, there's a lot of stuff that's happened. Also, yesterday, I went and looked at a trailer. A buddy of mine has a friend who's trying to sell, kind of get rid of a 6x10 enclosed trailer. I went and looked at it, and it's not brand new, that's for sure. But it's functional. It's got two good wheels. And I think it would be really good addition to have to store a lot of things in but also just you know when I show up at these events I can just pack in there show up unpack so it's gonna help out a lot but it also means that I need a vehicle to pull said trailer and we own a minivan and a Toyota Camry so looking at trucks small SUVs something maybe that's not gonna break the bank that uh, can be a, like a third vehicle, but also a business vehicle. So those are the things that are new, I think. Let's go roast some coffee. Here I am at the roastery. Sorry, I don't have my microphone in, but I wanted to get some footage so you could see the roaster, what I'm working with, the station. So the roaster I'm working with is a 15 kilo toper. It's made in Turkey. 
I load 25 pound batches and usually we'll get 21 point something out. This is the airflow. It's pretty much just a dampener that closes that airway, open and close. Here's the gas. You can see it right there. This is the software. It's just called Logging Dynamics. Uh, it doesn't give me a great picture of ROR. I have to wait every 15 seconds to get an ROR figure. But it does the trick and I've gotten used to it. Got my coffee that I bring in. Some coffee that I use from De La Finca. Got my bags all ready to go to bag up. We'll walk over here. See the warehouse where they have coffee. They have a lot of coffee to select from, so it's pretty awesome. And now I'm gonna roast for about three hours, fulfill some orders, get ready for an event next week. See ya!